one of the interesting things is we get a lot of customers who come in here and they go, what's with all the old vacuums here? I go, I'll collect them. Well, that's kind of like, oh my gosh, my mother had one of those. And I'm like, that's why I collect them. There's three collectors in South Africa that I know of, well, including me. So there's, there's three of us. But they don't have my collection. I was fascinated with vacuum cleaners from an early age. Started to find vacuum cleaners that people had thrown out, fixed them and sold them to cash converters. Straight up fascinated by vacuums, no real reason behind it. His mother used to have to fight with him as to who did the vacuuming in the house and he would nine out of ten times win. So you you actually like vacuum? Oh, I used to do the vacuum as a kid. He who likes the vacuum gets to use the vacuum. <laughs> so so he's basically like the best husband in South Africa because he does the vacuum. Everything's clean. When you come in here when I'm ready to show them off, there's many more that are waiting to be restored. That's what I really enjoy doing is restoring them. Restore them so that they look original and work like they yeah. did. So I try to get them as back to their as close to their factory original as possible. Yeah, like I said, it's a 1926 Electrolux and it still works. I'm a bit fond of them, so I'll, I'll, I'll. It's a case of because there's no other collectors here, it's either I buy it or it ends up going through the scrap machine. Yeah. It's a mechanical interest. I like to. Yeah. Yes, some of them look prettier than others, but for me, I want to know how they work. But yeah, I mean, my friends just accept. I think when I was younger, maybe instead of one and two, um, I try to think. I don't remember having any problems with it. By the time people learned to like vacuums and the trick, and instead of eight and nine, I was making money off it. I mean, I, if I had the money, I would spend fifty thousand rand on a vacuum cleaner, so, and I collect them. So. <laughs> Um, if you go back into it, a lot of us are autistic or have learning difficulties like I did. Um, some of them have troubled childhoods. This is where you tend to get into when you start to go back into collecting and you start to look at people who collect. They tend to collect, they tend to form the fascination for anything from a car to an oil can or whatever because something happened in their childhood and it was an escape from them. Two things I learned when, when, you, when you met a new, a new girl's parents. Wash the dishes after supper and vacuum the house if you, if you get the chance. The mother will love you, she'll be on your side for the rest of your life. <laughs>